Hello, I hope you well. My name's Jack, and I've had a bit of a crazy weekend. So last night I went to go see Danny Vaughan, who I, th I think I can say is a good friend of mine after after this. For those of you who don't know, he was in a band called Taiketo, and he was also in Wasted for a little while, and he also does solo stuff. And very long story short, he was doing a, a secret show last night just for his fans in Whitby. And a friend of mine, Mr. Gary Lowe's, thank you very much, he had a spare ticket and he said, do you want to go? And I was like, yeah, sure, we'll go. Ended up getting on stage with, I say stage, ended up getting on the palette that was a makeshift stage in this pub with Danny um, singing Take It Easy. the first time we met that's what we did we sang take it easy together at the Clooney and biker so I got up and sang with him and then um, it was very sad news because what was meant to happen was Danny Vaughan was playing last night and tonight Dan Reed was meant to play who Danny sometimes plays with in a duo and unfortunately he can't make it and it was like a scene out of a movie because then everyone started to go well why doesn't Jack do the gig and I'm fairly unknown I'm not exactly high profile or anything like that I'm really just starting out in my musical journey of original music so it was very kind of people just off the back of that one number that wasn't even my song to say oh why don't you do it so tonight we're going to do the gig and it'll be really cool because it's the first time i'll be playing original songs in particular these songs that i've written for this ep that's coming out so yeah it's it's a bit of a crazy story but unbelievably grateful for danny and jim the promoter and gary and keith for taking me it was all last minute and on a whim and uh, if they didn't take us then this wouldn't have happened so thank you to everybody who was involved in last night it was absolutely fantastic so yeah i'll keep you posted with whatever happens i don't know if i'm going to take my camera or if i'm just going to get stuff on my phone but um either way it should be a, a memorable evening
The song I'm about to play here is the one that he mentioned that um, last week was number five in the iTunes country music charts, which is absolutely ridiculous. I always need you to tell me if I said something wrong. Cause I'm always thinking while I'm writing this song. I always need you to guide me to help me through. I only feel safe when I'm with you. I'm going to play something, I'll tell you what it is first and then I'm going to do a, just a little bit of a story just because I think it needs to be said. So I'm going to play um, Stronger Than Steel by Dan Reed because obviously I know you guys all love that. Uh, and the story is that my friends in the front row here who have taken us tonight, we became friends at a Danny Bowden concert. I, I supported him like he was telling me last night and Gary was there. Big up Gary. Give him his away, there we go. And then... Um, he came up to us afterwards, shook my hand and said, you know, really enjoyed it. I'll be honest, I was quite drunk at that point and I can't remember. <laughs> so I apologise. Um, but he befriended us on Facebook and I'm really glad he did because we became great friends. I ended up playing his 40th birthday party and then I ended up playing Gary and Joe's wedding last year. And their first dance was Stronger Than Steel. Now, they were meant to have Dan Reed, but obviously COVID hit, so they asked Muggins here to try and do it. And <laughs> <laughs> This is the second time I've filled in for Dan Reed. So, but I'm going to attempt to do this, I relearned it last night um, for this occasion, so I hope you all dig it. And I'm, I know you all know it, so please feel free to sing along and all that jazz. Um, so we'll give this a go. So, as much as this is all for you guys, I'm dedicating this to the amazing people in, in the front row here. Love you guys. You don't have to dance this time though. <laughs> and all on is higher. So we're at Sanders Yard in Whitby and the crowd is unbelievable tonight. Look at them. So it's the next week. It's uh, It's been a week since uh, we travelled down to Whitby for the gig. I can't believe it's been a week already. I'm uploading this tomorrow, which will be Sunday, but you're seeing this now. So it's like I'm in a different time zone. It's weird. Anyway, yeah, the gig was absolutely insane. I just wanted to say a few thank yous at the end. Thank you so much to Jim for putting on the gig. He absolute legend. Thank you for having me. Thank you to Scott who brought the PA and he opened up for us. Scott is also in a band called The House We Built and he also is part of a very cool company called Nordal Audio who make, well, a bunch of stuff. They make guitar straps, they make jack cables, they make XLRs, they make these little drink holder things that you can put on your mic stand, which is very, very handy. Thank you so much to all of the Lowe's family, Gary, Joe, Amber, and Keith. Thank you very much, Keith, for driving. But yeah, without them, without meeting them in the first place, really, as you will have seen previously in the VOG when I do that speech, which they had no idea I was going to do. Yeah, without meeting them, this wouldn't have happened. And without them offering to, to take me and stuff, that weekend wouldn't have happened. And it was such a great weekend. And I'm just, I'm just really, really grateful. Thank you so much to everybody who came along, despite the fact that I'm not Dan Reed. That was really cool. It was amazing to see everybody again. And oh, it was just really nice. Huge thank you to Danny for letting us get up with him. And Dan Reed, if you're watching this, I really hope we get to meet soon. I think that's 
pretty much it. Just thank you to everybody for making the weekend absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see everybody again. Hopefully we'll be gigging again soon that way, even though there was people from all over the country, which is a bit crazy. So I hope to see you all at some point. But yeah, thank you for probably the best gig I've ever done. And that just about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Jack, and I'll see you on the next one.